Question number five. Using a pair of compasses and ruler only, construct an, ins an inscribed circle to touch side XZ of triangle XYZ drawn below. So we have our triangle XYZ. Uh, we are supposed to, uh, to draw an inscribed circle touching X and Z. Uh, so, and we are supposed to be instructed to use a pair of compasses and a ruler only. So you don't use any other instrument. That should be enough. Uh, so we are going to extend uh, the line YZ and the line XY, uh, XY and then we bisect the, the angles. Uh, so let's do that. So press your ruler on the uh, YZ and you draw a line uh, joining the, the, that point Z and then uh, we are going to place our ruler on XY draw the line joining X like that and then we are going to bisect this the angle and this angle where the two bisector uh, meets then that is uh, will be the center of the circle. Press your compass here, uh, the sharp end you press it here, and then you make a mark here. Uh, so that is uh, your mark. You also do that the, the same to the other side, and you have uh, your mark there. So we are going to use these two points to bisect the line. Uh, press your compass on one of the mark here, and you make another arc here uh, so this is the arc uh, change the compass to this point and make another mark make another mark here so you draw a line from z and uh, passes through this mark here the cross section of the two arcs you come up with a straight line so with your ruler touching z and the point that we have uh, the two points have crossed you draw a straight line so this is a straight line that touches z you receive you repeat the same process uh, at point z and you also so the two lines will intersect at a certain point so let's do that so press your compass here and with the, the compass at that point you make another mark here uh, so this is what you do that mark and you repeat the same to the other side uh, so you make uh, another mark here uh, that mark and we are going to use the two points to make two arcs use your compass here the sharp end at this new point and uh, using the other side uh, you rotate your compass and you come up with that so with that uh, we can use the other, other the other point that we had made and we make a mark uh, so with that we come up with a cross section there and now we are going to use a ruler to join this point uh, to make a straight line through that point where the line will meet with this other line so let's do that so with your ruler pressed there this point X and these are uh, other uh, intersecting point you draw a straight line uh, like that and then you see the two lines have intersected at this point so that will be the center of the circle uh, now when you have the center of the circle you need to know the radius uh, okay some of the student approximate that is you put your compass here and you extend to where it will touch uh, X and Y but uh, the best way is to draw a perpendicular line from there here this point we can label it O draw a perpendicular line to XZ and that will give us the radius of the circle so let's go ahead and do that so with your compass at this point uh, you make a mark here and uh, you'll be able to come up with an arc like that uh, you change the position of your compass and uh, you, you use that and you make another mark there 
So we are going to join this line and these two acts to come up with a perpendicular line to uh, x, uh, z. So with your ruler here, uh, you draw a, a straight line here, uh, joining x, z, and that will be a perpendicular line to x, uh, z. Perpendicular here means it is a right angle. Uh, at least to make a right angle, right angle with the x z x z, and you can confirm that with uh, with your protractor to see whether it is ninety, and you can see with the protractor that angle is ninety. Uh, so this is the center of the circle. So we are going to use a compass to draw a circle, and that circle will touch the three lines. So let's do that. So with your compass touching the center of the circle, which is O, and the radius that we have uh, constructed here, I'm going to make a circle using that radius. And uh, now you find that the circle touches the three, that is X and Y, and the extended that. So this is what we call uh, a, an inscribed circle. This is what we call an uh, ascribed circle, which you did in form three, uh, and then uh, and therefore once you do all that, uh, uh, when you are doing it using manually, that is using your compass and Arura, uh, you should be a bit faster. But for this one. Uh, I am using the computers and uh, therefore it, it can take some time. Uh, so with that now, you will get three marks there and you will get to part B, measure the radius of the circle. With the circle now, uh, the second part is you measure the radius. So you measure the radius from there, uh, that is uh, from the center of the circle to where we have uh, the, either you can measure this line or you measure the length from here to here that will give us the radius and you find that the radius is equals to 3.1 uh, plus or minus 0. Point, uh, uh, 0. Point, uh, that is you can say 0. 0.1 and there you get you will be able to get uh, a mark for that and here you get uh, three marks. So this is how the marks are distributed. Mark for extending, that is that to give you one mark, extending the two lines. Uh, so we can say this is a half, uh, actually. Uh, this will also give you a half. Uh, you get another mark for bisecting, so that is that. So we can say here you get a half, and here you get a half, those two. Uh, then uh, uh, then we have another mark for the circle. So they will get one mark there. So they total to three. The, the, the marks are added there. And then you add one. So the total you will be able... So here you get uh, one mark. Uh, so you get a total of four marks for this question. So that is uh, how you do that uh, question. Uh, so you should be comfortable using your geometrical set and that is why you are advised to have it if, when you join form one so that by the time you are doing your KCSC, you have uh, mastered to use all the instruments that are in your geometrical set. So I hope you have understood the process and that is how we do that kind of a question.